welcome back to the tableau tutorials in this video we are going to discuss about a really important chart that is a funnel chart funnel chart is actually not supported by tableau so that is also something that we need to create from scratch so the steps would be little bit more so bear with me for this chart also and the importance of the funnel chart is that it helps us to easily visualize the data it is just like a combination of a bar chart uh along with the um, uh, word map like it uh, its size can be used for the analysis purposes right there are different funnels or different bars that's been created uh their size is different so that we can find out that which is giving me a higher sales or which is giving me a lower sales or whatever the criteria we have taken okay so we would be creating funnel chart based upon the category so category wise sales right if i just drag the sales over here so this is the columns that we have got we want exactly like this that is these columns should be there we don't want like these bars we want these columns to be there make sure they are in the uh, descending order that is the technology category which is giving me the highest value is on the top then we have furniture and office supplies right now what do we want is we want different colors based upon the category so you can just drag this category into the colors thing and these are the colors that are generated now what we want for the funnel chart is that these sales uh, that these sizes of these bars should be different on the basis of these sales so what we can do is we can drag this sales into the size portion as soon as we do that this is something that's created but it's not actually really good looking uh what we can do is instead of standard we can just select the entire view so this is the kind of a funnel chart that's been created that means this is the technology category this is the furniture this is the office supplies category which is giving us the uh, individual uh, the varied amount of sales if you want information on this so what you can get is the labels like category label you can get and you can get the sales label as well you want to change the way they are uh, organized you can just set their alignment as the middle alignment like this okay now suppose you don't want the sales amount you want like the percentage of the total so you can just add a quick table calculation and here you can just select percentage of total so that is 36.399 you want to customize that you can go to this label part uh go to here and you can customize that from here if you want i can just click it on bold click on apply click on okay so these are the things that uh, we can work with and that's how the funnel chart is created right you see this is the option of the funnel or this is the you can say uh shape of a funnel that's been created right now one more thing is that if you just remove this category you want something else suppose i want on the basis of segment so you can just get the segment over here into this rows portion make sure the category is not there in the colors and uh, uh, as such you can just get the segment into the basis of the colors so these are the different segments we are getting you can also drag the segment on the labels so these are the different segments that we would be getting uh, you can also change the order in which they are looking like this okay so this is what we have getting for the funnel chart this is a funnel chart but this is a basic funnel chart we can also create something that is known as the advanced funnel chart so how do we create an advanced funnel chart let's see that there is something called advanced funnel chart actually for this what we need is suppose we get the same data like the segment and the uh, sales data right drag this into the columns format like this now instead of the segment let's just get something else like the shipment mode data suppose we have this okay we can just drag uh, uh organize it into this descending order that is these different segments shipment segments that we have now this is a bar chart that we have got instead of the bar chart what do we need to do is select the area chart so this is actually the shape of the um funnel chart for the shipment mode that's been created and that is the kind of the advanced funnel chart because there is no uh, independent uh, bars there there is a one bar that is combined okay now uh, this is just a half funnel chart you need to create it for the negative values as well so what we can do is create a new calculated field so that's going to be the negative sales 
that means uh, on the basis of the values that we are going to do that is negative sales so we can just create a new value for it that is negative sales and just put a minus sign just before the sales value so that its negative value gets created click on ok so this is the negative sales along with the sales we also drag the negative sales and arrange it like this just a second we need to arrange it like this yeah so this is what we are getting we can just select the entire view like this so this is the shape of the funnel that's been created for the shipment mode right now we want some data to be visible now there are two things created one for the negative sales one for the sales for the negative sales that is over here we want the shipment mode in the labels for the positive we want the uh, sales to be there but not in the uh, amounts i want it on the basis of the total percentage like this so this is what it is visible and this is an advanced funnel chart based upon the shipment mode you want to change its color you can just go to this color part and you can just select any other color like i want red color i want pink color or basically green color any other color you want you can just select that also you can just work with borders etc sorry for that uh, you can also work with borders like you can just go with a red border so that's looking cool pretty cool right so uh, this is the data that is how you can work with it funnel chart similarly if you just go to this funnel chart there is this negative sales we can just drag the negative sales here along with the positive sales so actually this is also the kind of the stuff that is uh, created what we can do is uh, instead of the segment we don't want the segment to be shown twice we don't want the sales value to be shown twice we can just get the sales value in one part and the segment in the other part so that would be like much more uh, good looking we can go to quick table calculation make sure percentage of the total is selected and here we need to remove this particular sales part so yeah this is here uh, we can just set its alignment like its middle center for the negative part also we can just select uh, set its alignment of the labels right like this so this is kind of a, a funnel chart that you can create with negative and the positive both the values either a basic one or the advanced one so waterfall chart is actually uh, another good chart that is used to represent the trends in the data uh, it is a part of the gantt chart so whenever you are working on any kind of a project gantt chart is like a real requirement over there the gantt chart is used to represent the data in a much more precise manner especially when the timelines are concerned so in this video we would be discussing a waterfall chart that's related to the gantt chart uh, let's just get in the data like the order date uh, let me just double click over it and the sales values so this is what we have uh, just drag the sales into the rows right so automatically a line chart would be created but i want to convert it into a bar chart and i don't want on the year basis of years i want it on the basis of the quarters so that's it uh, that's i want or let's just get it on the basis of the months like this uh drag it into this kind of an order that's the descending order now for the waterfall chart you need to make sure that this gant is selected so this is the kind of a gant chart now what we can do is on the basis of the sales we can just change its size so we can just drag the sales into the size portion and this is a waterfall chart if you want you can just color it also on the basis of the sales so you can just drag the sales into the colors so this is a uh, waterfall chart that is created on the basis of sales suppose you don't want the uh, basis of sales you want the basis of any other continuous values like you want on the basis of profit so let's just remove all the sales part there and get all these profits part so this is the profit arrange it into the descending order uh, get the profit into the size part so these are the variable sizes that we are getting get this profit into the colors part so this is the colors uh, of the profit that we are getting and that's how you create a waterfall chart in tableau so that's all for this video thanks for watching